All right, everyone, how are you doing today? This is Rupa speaking. Um, I have this truck that I modeled. The thing is, it is a super low poly, so if I'm going to be texturing it, you will see the faces like squares over here. Um, let me show you the uh, wireframe right here. So um, it's all, you know, squares and it's very edgy. So what I want to do is I want to smooth it out and make the um, uh, I want to make those you know the car to be like more of a like you know round. So if I hit three, it will show it as it's round. The thing is only in Maya, but if you want to go ahead and export this and put it in U in U8 on uh, Unreal Engine or uh, in uh, what you call it. Um, in uh, um, Unity, so it, it won't work. So how do you do this? First of all, I'm gonna use X normal for this because it's just much better to do X normal. Second, I'm going to do what it's called exploding the uh, the mesh uh, because if I'm going to be baking like the inside edges of this, I try to do that. Um, and substance painter and look what happened it was too bad look at this so it was all baked because the underneath those underneath and inside edges it doesn't work very well with baking like that okay even it looks okay from outside but really if you come closer to the mesh look at that this you cannot even hide even if you try to paint over it you cannot hide it okay so that's what we're going to do right now so let's get started so first of all I have to look at the UV and make sure that the, that I have my truck all UV as it's supposed to so let's open the UV I already UV it it took me forever to do that yeah there you go it looks really good um, yeah so I have everything UV here as is and then after that um, I'm going to go ahead and export it I will make sure that everything is uh, f f like the the transformation is frozen so I go to modify freeze transformation everything is 00111 edit delete by type history and then file export selection and then um, I'm just gonna go ahead and um, and uh, save it you know export it as pickup low okay now after that I'm gonna take the same the same guy here and then uh, uh, I'm going to go ahead and separate it from each other so basically we're exploding the meshes all these little pieces we're going to actually separate them from each other so mesh separate and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and take each piece and then just separate it take it apart that's called exploding and it's literally like taking everything apart just like that and uh, yeah so since you already have it uh, you already ha I already have the mesh uh, exported as a whole so I don't need to worry about that because I already have the truck um, as I want to then I just take all the pieces out you can also put it up if you want to like that and so on so I won't have any problem in hope it works this time so let's do it let's take this down take this down take this up down okay yeah all right so I guess most of the pieces here are just separated now almost okay all right 
right, so now, oops, I'm going to be taking all these pieces now together, just like that. Make sure everything is selected, and then, oops, and then I'm going to go ahead and say mesh combine. Now, since I combined it, now it's all as one piece. Edit, delete by type history, modify, it's already frozen. So, file, export, selection. I'm going to take it over here and I'm going to call it truck underscore low underscore exploded. So, that's a different mesh right here. So, truck underscore low underscore score exploded so here you go yes now the next thing is I'm gonna smooth this and make it uh, more smooth because now if you look at the edges it's very edgy as you see so what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna take the whole thing mesh smooth make it as high pool okay now you can also do that you can remodel your your thing and make make it more like this so now as you see it's more smooth you can even smooth it like if I go back let me go back okay yeah so if I go here and then say mesh smooth I can add as many polys I want so if I want two for example or three or four and so on but I think is one is fine this is too big too much okay and you see it's just very smooth right now if you go over here also it's all very smooth yeah now for UVing the high poly is not very important. What is more important is UVing the low poly. Now we're gonna take this, say edit, delete type by type history, um, file, and it has to be in the same position of the low poly. So when it calculates the baking, it's gonna just snap it on the same on the low poly mesh. The high poly is gonna be transferred the UVs or not the UVs the what do you call it like the shell is going to be transferred the texture is going to be transferred uh, transferring or all, all the normals from the high poly to the low poly now we're going to export this and then I'm gonna call it truck high exploded so truck underscore high exploded okay uh, to get uh, to do it in Substance Painter, so here we go. Uh, truck low exploded. I'm gonna get that, which is actually already here, and uh, I'm gonna just rename this to truck. And then what I'm going to do is um, I'm gonna go to Texture Set Settings, and then I'm gonna go to Bake Mesh Maps. And then what I will do is I'm going to drop the high definition mesh, which is the high poly truck. So here's the high poly truck. And the same way that we did in X normal, max frontal and rear. So I'm just going to go ahead and bump it up a little bit like this. Okay, and then big truck. And uh, we'll see what will happen right now. Here you go. It's working fine. Yeah. And then what we can do is just export the texture. File. Export the texture. Uh, export textures and uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and do it real quick and then where do I want to save it there you go yeah and export okay 
Now I'm going to go ahead and get my truck, my low poly truck that I already have. Pick up low. And then here it's going to ask me, uh, do you want import mesh normal maps? I'm going to go ahead and import the normal map that we just exported it from the exploded truck. So it's this one, I think. Yes, it is. So, okay. All right. And now I'm going to go to texture set settings. And then uh, where it says here, select normal map. I'm going to select that normal map. Yes, I can either combine it. You see how it changed? Let me replace. Nope. Combine. There you go. So now it is all baked. I can go back in here, bake maps. I'm going to bake it, and that's it. It's going to bake it. Come on. So it worked. That's it. And then you can just paint on it and put the colors that you want on it. Alright, thank you for listening to my video. I hope you enjoyed it and you learned something. And I'll see you next time.